It's been over three days since that chilling attack in an ATM in Bangalore, but the attacker continues to remain free. Police detained a one person from Hindpur in Andhra Pradesh. The police have revealed that the attacker sold victim's phone to him and uh, he's currently being interrogated. Well, after seizing victim's phone, the police have managed to gather some crucial leads in the case. According to the police, the assailant speaks Telugu and is most likely a resident of Andhra Pradesh. Police also revealed that the attacker was in Bangalore till about 3 in the afternoon and then travelled to Hindupur at about 8 in the evening on the day of the attack. Uh, within 24th uh, November 2013, 1600 hours, all the banks should uh, adhere to these uh, orders that uh, inside and outside of the uh, ATMs, they should install the CCTV cameras, they should appoint a guard, security guard, and also they should uh, install burglar alarms. If these instructions uh, are not obey followed by the concerned banks, then the transactions will be prohibited. Well, the Karnataka government has issued a deadline to all banks asking them to post security guards at all the ATMs in Bangalore within three days, failing which the police would shut down the facilities. According to government records, out of over 2,500 ATMs in Bangalore, 600 are without security.